crash. She's recovering from her injuries at a home in Bellingham. The wreckage of the plane was still smoldering when Skagit County deputies arrived at the crash site today. It crashed Saturday, possibly as high as 6,000 feet. Search and rescue crews found that plane one mile north of Highway 20 in the Rainy Pass area. 16-year-old Autumn Veach managed to find her way off of the mountain by Monday. She's still recovering from severe dehydration and burns on her hands. We talked to her friends late tonight. This was her first time on a small plane like that. Otherwise, she's been on one commercial flight, and that's it. And just her journey. It's pretty amazing, and it's, it's still uncomprehendable what, what she went through, the terrain she went through, and the experiences she had because of it, and the environment, too. She was stuck in a lot of rain and a lot of that harsh weather and, and survived it all. They say she is doing well and happy to be alive, but grieving the loss of her grandparents Leland and Sharon Bowman. Tonight, Autumn's father tweeted that his heart goes out to Autumn's mother and stepfather. The fact Autumn survived this is a miracle, trekking through woods determined to make it out alive. She was, and tonight we're learning more about that journey from the man who gave her a ride to help. Andrew Padula has the latest from Bellingham. Autumn spent the day resting here at her dad's home in Bellingham. We're told she's eating more and feeling a lot better. Meanwhile, the man who helped Autumn after the crash is speaking out and calling her a superstar. Matt and his friend weren't expecting it. On a day trip to Okanagan County, they stopped at a rest area parking lot. As we pulled into the trailhead, I noticed kind of a, a girl standing there on the side and thought, well, that's strange. And she definitely looked out of place. She had some, you know, pine needles in her hair. And Matt says that's when Autumn walked over to them and asked for help. The first thing she said was, I need help. There was a plane crash. You know, was there other people? Uh, you know, or where are they? Uh, when, but when she said it was her, her grandparents, her first thing she said is, I'm the only survivor of a plane crash. Autumn and her grandparents, Leland and Sharon Bowman, were flying from Kalispell, Montana to Linden, Washington, but they never made it. The plane crashed in heavy timber, and only Autumn managed to get out and get help. Two days later, Autumn walked out of the woods. Matt and his friend gave Autumn some Gatorade and food as they drove her to the nearest store to call 911. As they drove, Autumn told her story. She was surprisingly calm um, and in control of herself and able to, you know, get across exactly what happened. It was really impressive to me because, you know, I have an assumption that most people in that situation would be really freaked out. Rescuers are hiking in rugged terrain trying to reach the crash site today. But Autumn has already told them she believes her grandparents didn't survive. Seeing a 16-year-old go through it and just be a superstar. Andrew Padula, Q13, Fox News.